Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about hair removal. Typically, um, especially on your legs, because I think that this method will be a little hurtful for under your arms and, um, yeah, places like that. So today I'm going to talk about an epilator. Well, first let me start saying that most of us do most of us shave with a razor i wasn't gonna bring a, sh a razor because i think everybody knows what that looks like so everybody shaves with a razor now let me tell you about shaving shaving just cuts the hair off so your skin is smooth but it doesn't take it out of the roots so the root of the hair is still there which means that the hair will grow back more likely and it will grow back more thicker and longer. That's what shaving does. But an epilator takes the roots, takes the hair out of the roots so that some of the hairs that t are at, taken out of the roots might not grow back anymore. So today I'm going to show you what an epilator is and explain to you what it does. So this is what an epilator looks like. This is what it looks like. This is an epilator. Now there's two settings on this one, one and two. This is a Philips one. And I just want to get this out of the way. All this was purchased by me, all of the products I'm going to show you. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to show you that. I'm going to show you that this, there's a button right here, and this button right here, um, what it is, is you press it, and this comes off, looks like this, this thing, this thing comes off, and then it goes back on, like that, there is a very long cord that comes with it, but it's right here, it says Phillips, if you're wondering. Um, I do not remember how much this costs, but it comes in a little baggie like this. And this comes with a little brush like this to clean it. And this little, like, massage thing that looks like this. Actually, let me show it like this. Looks like this. It's like, it's very, like, rubbery, soft feeling. And what you do is that you, um, there's like a thing right there, these little two holes, and you insert it into those holes. You take it and you insert it into those two holes. And then it looks like this. And then it comes out. This little pink thing is for when, like, it gives you a massage, so I think it's so it doesn't hurt that much, but I don't use this because it doesn't help me, and I'm very used to it right now, like, I got used to it over time, and it, I mean, it still hurts, but I'm used to it, I'm not just like, ow. It also comes with a little, like, circular, um, ice pack that, like, you would put on and then do it so it would, the cool effect would, like take away the um painfulness but i don't use that either it's in the refrigerator i'm not going to get it right now but this is what it looks like and this is very helpful because this takes the hairs out of the roots and i would not recommend using these under your arms because it, this is a very delicate area i would say and this rips it out so i would say that this hurts a lot but i've never tried it but i think it would hurt because when i've gotten waxed it hurts under your arms so i wouldn't try that but for your legs it looks it works perfectly um this is i would recommend this 100 percent on the first time you do this you it might be very painful but then over time you get used to it because you do it um you do it often so it's very it's like it doesn't matter to you anymore the next thing i want to answer is how often i do this it depends on how fast the hair grows the hairs grow back but i would usually do this once every week and a half or once every two weeks or maybe two times it actually it, it varies for everybody else and how fast your hair grows back but 
Um, I do it about once or twice to once or twice each two weeks, if that sounds right. But what I did want to show you is plug this in and show you how it actually works. So this is the, what the end of the cord looks like, and all you do, there's like the, it's at the bottom, and you would just put it in. The other thing I wanted to say is that there are so many types of epilators, it's not even funny. There's like so many different types. There's like, there's a lot. You can just go on eBay or whatever and search it up or go on Google and search it up. I think I got mine off on eBay. It was brand new. I do not remember the price. I want to say it's like 40 or $50, but I'm not positive. Don't hold me to it because I don't remember. This was like, I had this for like a year and a half maybe. So, the thing that I want to show you is how this works. So, you would turn it on. There's two settings right here, if you can see it. There's a 1 and a 2. I'm going to turn it on to 1. But all this is, is just these things turning and ripping the hair out. There's, a, there's also a second setting, and I'm just going to show you the difference. The second setting goes faster. Um, I prefer I recommend I prefer or recommend using the second setting for your whole leg and then the first setting for your knees, like where your knees are, because it's more delicate and you don't want to like hurt the bone or something. I don't know. People have said that before, but I'm not sure. So this is what it looks like. I really do recommend getting one of these. Maybe you wanted to get it for your birthday. Ask for your birthday or Christmas, which I know is a very long time away. But still, it's a very good present to give somebody. Because this is a lot better than shaving. A lot better. So after you would use the epilator on your legs, um, you want to put on a cream. I recommend doing this because... On my skin, when I, after I do this, I get like really, I like get dots all over my leg, which is kind of annoying and and it burns a little bit. So, what I do recommend doing after, which um my mom's friend she helped, she told me to do this because then your skin won't be all softer and like the it will be like healing the red spots, which I get. I don't know. I think it's just my skin is very sensitive. I don't know if you guys will get it, but if you do get the red spots like me, I recommend using a cream. And this is the Gold Ultimate Healing Skin Therapy Lotion Alloy Cream. I don't know. I'm just going to show you and you guys just look at it and decide. So this is what the cream looks like. You can take technically use this anybody anywhere on your body to heal or just make it soft. Um because it has um alloy in there or if that's how you even say it because I'm very bad at pronouncing words. Okay, never mind, off topic. So this is very um I think it's um an important step to do after you use the epilator. Um because if you have red spots like me, you will heal the red spots so your skin is smooth and I have very sensitive and dry skin everywhere on my body and that will heal, kind of make it more smoother just like I said. This is a very, um, I do recommend this a lot, like you don't understand, it is so much better than shaving. So I do really recommend getting one of these, these are so helpful to everybody and they just really make a difference when you have hair on your legs and you don't want to yeah so really do recommend getting one of these if you do have one of them or you're gonna get one comment me down below and tell me what you think of it when you get it and when you first try it if you haven't tried it um, comment me down below and tell me why would you want to try it or how it will make it will help you and yeah, so thanks a lot for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.